Greetings everyone, it is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. The last episode, alas, the Amira Alumara Temzi passed on to the afterlife, leaving her throne to Amira Alumara Sakura, who, she is decently capable of ruling the Empire. She has a couple of problems, personally, you know, she's a sadist, she's a cynic, and she's lazy. Also an adulterer and a fornicator. A little bit of a sinner, this one. But uh, we'll make do. We'll make do. So our first course of action is... I want to get our court grandeur up to level 6. So we can try and convince these guys to join us. Convince Mazi here. That uh, they should be part of our glorious empire. There's also the issue of... Why are you now poor aptitude? You were average aptitude last time, weren't you? How, how are you poor aptitude? You have 16 learning. The novice physician. Temperate, zealous, generous. All right. Um, hmm. Exotic arms. No, I don't have the money for this. And I don't need more weapons. At least not right now. Do we have a better option? No one that's young enough. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, how... Well, okay. You have 23 learning. I, I can see that. Genius trait. Right, but you don't even have the physician trait. Like, surely that's got to count for something, right? Why is this poor aptitude? I don't know. All right, um, so, I could spend some money. We have the Trans-Saharan uh, Arab Merchant here. So that could be quite good. Um, yeah, this could be a lot of money. He would join our court if I were to do this. What's his stat line? 24, 24 stewardship. I mean, it's pretty good. I'd have to remove him, which I don't think I want to do. So uh, I'm just going to give him the deal. It's going to cost me 110. But that's fine. Because we're going to get uh, plus one diplomacy and 10% extra monthly income and monthly prestige for 10 years, which is going to pay for itself. <laughs> so, yes, please. We create the Duchy of Timbuktu. All right. Why? Was this destroyed? This must have been destroyed at some point. That's kind of strange. Um, and so a couple of things that I also want to sort out within my own realm. All right, we have um, sorted out hereditary. All right. We've discovered hereditary. So, succession-wise... Oh god, why doesn't this work? Is it because of these guys? I think it's because of these guys. This doesn't work. Um, that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Staring at the stars. While my evening is watching stars, I've seen with my own eyes what I have only heard of before. The stars move at different speeds. Ah oh, yes, the retrograde motion event. We know. Um, I will find my answers in the heavens. We can get some more prestige. Um, but it'll cause her to lose 10 opinion of us, which kind of puts us in the danger zone. But, um, we could focus on earthly matters to get more piety. I think this is what we need to do. It's going to give us some stress, but right now our piety is not great. I'd rather not have negative piety. Because we are a cynic. And we are now fascinated with royal prerogative. Uh, let me check if that is, in fact, what I want to do. Don't know these all by heart at this point. Okay, so this would allow us to enact high and absolute crown authority. Um, that's good. I kind of want that. I also kind of want household soldiers to get more men at arms, and I also kind of want battlements and manorialism is also good. Like, there's a lot of good ones in uh, early medieval. Hmm. I think I do want to go Royal Prerogative first. Yeah. Would allow us to exercise greater levels of authority. Because right now we're, we're kind of capped here at uh, limited ground authority. Yep. It's 
says here. But yeah, it doesn't say why we can't change here. This is, once again, the game not being very transparent with certain things. I'm, I imagine it's because of this, but I don't know for certain. I remember this being a bit confusing in my last playthrough as well, uh, because I thought I had the things that would allow me to change a certain uh, type of succession law, but apparently that was not it, and it did not tell me <laughs> why uh, directly. I had to like, look it up elsewhere uh, in the game. So, Anyways, um... Let's just let time progress. Um, I'm playing a lazy character. So this rain might not be as eventful, might not be as ambitious as the uh, previous character's rain, who was, you know, conquering all over the place. <laughs> but what I do want is I would like, in some way, to seize control of Sigil Masa. Okay, she's no longer our court physician. Why? just hired her. And she wasn't, I guess she wasn't very good in the end, so let's find a new physician, I guess. It'll cost uh, piety if I do that. Alright, um, let's see here. You're 49, Zunaga. Uh, she's got 19 learning, but no physician traits. And Sadika is uh, not fit for the job in any way, shape, or form. They both fail to impress me, however, so that's just gonna be no court physician for the moment. We're gonna get a learning perk. Alright, so now we can look and see um, whether we want to go down Theologian. Theologian would, you know, profit is kind of one of the main reasons you go down here. Um, what's the trait do? Piety, 20%. No, we're going to go down Scholar. We're a Cynic. We're not going to be a Theologian. Alright, we have Clerical Justifications. Uh, it says we're faithful, but I guess we're just good at pretending that we're faithful. <laughs> um, so let's go increase development here, because that's pretty good. Although, ooh. Ah, damn. No, I'll get pedagogy next time. Because I will eventually have children that I would like to raise myself, because these bastards... Yeah, what can I do? They're not mine. Well, they are mine, but... <laughs> they're... Not going to inherit anything. Unless I legitimize them, which I'd rather not. Alright, there we go. Um, finally, I will have an actual child. Calling bastards, not actual children. <laughs> I'm sorry. Spouse, up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I'm complaining to Affair when he interrupts me. Let me do something about it, wife. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. So, who do we want him to help? It's gotta be somebody that's gonna actually be around for a while. We need a new marshal. Um... Let's appoint this... No, I'm just appointing him as my marshal. She's got 21. She's got 23. She's got 18. She's currently the lowest. Oh, no. <laughs> this guy's the lowest. Okay, help uh, Takafari Nas, indeed. He's younger as well. He's only 39, so it'll last him a while. Or you could stay here with... No. Um, we don't need that. We'll, we'll, we'll get his opinion higher manually. Alright, uh, what is our current development level in Ifni? Uh, development is at 13. Let's actually, instead of getting taxes, let's increase development. Ten months left. Um, and we should be converting more territories. So we've got some Sunni territories here. Let's convert Tinduf first off. Secret exposed. My spy master, Ilya, has accused my brother Murad of having a... Oh my god. Okay, guys, get over it. I wish you could ignore these events. Poor manners! Burp! As the loud belch echoes through the dining hall, all conversation abruptly ceases. My high shaman, Tasdite. Okay, we've had this event before, and why is it always the high shaman? Would cause her to lose 30 opinion of me. But it'll get me 10 opinion from every other courtier. And it will not make us lose court grandeur, so we're going to do that. Behave yourself in the court, all right? Okay, inspiration project, and another inspiration project. So a book inspiration, all right. And we have a trinket inspiration. I will sponsor this. 
Okay, I'm gonna make a box. Because I do have trinket slots. Like, a lot of them. If I recall correctly. Yeah, I can have three more trinkets. And right now I only have one. So, I need an antiquarian also. Uh, who's it gonna be? I'm gonna put my sister Tria as antiquarian. Why the hell not? There you go. Congratulations on your promotion. I can hold court. Inspiration, up late. Time disappears in Masa uh, Masgaba's workshop. Drinking mead as we excitedly discuss the box he is creating for me. Am I imagining things, or is there an indescribable tension? My mind wanders, absorbing the subtle quirks of his body. His laughing lips. I place my hand on his. The plane drops from his trembling fingers as I gaze longingly into those beautiful eyes. In him, I find the same desperate passion. He falls into my warm embrace. No, I will not become an adulterer yet again. We just got over this. God damn it. Right, I've been overwhelmed by stress. This is delightful. Uh. Mental break. Oh, good. What are my options? For fuck's sake, these are terrible. No, I wouldn't scourge myself for my sins. I'm a cynic. Profligate? Jesus, that costs so much money. The, I think this one is really bad. Like, that is terrible. Um, no, so I'm just going to have to eat the stress. Great. Um, what can I do to relieve stress? I can hold a feast. We haven't done that in a while. Oh my god, I have to hold a lavish feast now. Because hunts don't reduce stress. Mystical Communion can give me stress if it goes wrong. I don't want to do that. Alright, I have a daughter. Um, she has nice traits. Look at that. She is air material through and through. So we're going to give her a good name. Alright? We're going to name her... Dahia. Alright, she will be named after... The warrior queen who we founded our dynasty based around and whose you know name is in our current uh <laughs> dynastic title um so somebody's trying to kill my uh knight that's uh that's a shame all right inspiration a vassal to remember emir masinisa and emir azreg uh, Az azreg uh, uh, again this gh um in the uh Tamazra language, I think is more of an R sound. Um, Emir Azrer. Azrer? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, are among the most powerful vassals of my realm. I never know how to keep them happy. So they don't go uh, around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is the way to go. Anyone would have been pleased to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? And I just have the right thing in the making. I should let my kinsmen... Uh, Masgaba, know that I am dedicating his masterpiece to my trustworthy vassals and advisors. So wait, does this... And again, it's my artifacts, so maybe I should just... Okay, these guys, he doesn't like me, he does like me. Dedications are overrated anyways. Um, you know, I, I will dedicate it to them. That's, that's a good event, it's a cool one. Um, so that's gonna make one vassal dislike me less. Um, yeah. Ah! You are scheming against me, huh? Or scheming against my, uh, knight. We, no, we can't imprison you. This would be an act of tyranny. Even though you're scheming? You're not in my court, are you? No. Alright, um. Well, that's a shame. Azreg. Uh, yeah, yeah, bring him in, bring him in. He's going to uh, offer me a gift as he swears fealty to me, and we have Court Grandeur level 6. Perfect. Perfect. Inspiration, the highest quality. Your project is worth investing in, absolutely. Um... Hmm. No, I'd rather just spend the money, because this is quite... It's a 50% chance. Though, I could try and haggle. So either way, we're going to get the higher quality. And he'll like me more. 
but it's just a cost of do I have a better chance of spending less money or do I have a chance of spending less money but then a higher chance of spending the same amount of money but also 150 prestige I think I can spare the prestige so we can do that no we don't want to lose uh, we don't want we don't want tyranny maybe a sadist but uh, we're gonna try this damn didn't work out to be expected. Um, we're at 12 days left to finish up uh, increasing development, so that's good. And then we can try and gain control of uh, Sus here with our uh, convinced de jure territory. If that is indeed doing what I think it's doing. Seven years. Alright, let's also increase control in county. So let's increase control in Zamor here, since it's rather close to our territory. And um, we have her converting. We have... Her on integrating title, yes, we want that, and we have her on, um, what, you're on supporting schemes? No, you should be on disrupting schemes. Alright, inspiration, a model ruler. My kinsman, Masgaba, holds out a tiny box with the finest hair-thin carvings engraved into it. The prototype for your latest commission. I don't want it to go to waste. We could find a use for the dear thing. My sister Tria perks up. We could place a relic of our time inside, inside it and bury it somewhere. Create a memento for... Children of the future to unveil. Okay. I will stow a miniature portrait of myself in it. <laughs> I'll write a tiny poem. Oh, that's cool. We could gain the uh, poem or the poet uh, trait. Or we could gain the miniature box. Uh, that doesn't help us much. I'm going to do this because that's going to give me the poet trait. That's cool. And it's a virtue, so we'll be at least a little bit virtuous. We may be a sinner in every other aspect, but at least we can write poetry. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Inspiration realized. My lady, my kinsman Muscaba, gestures me over to an object covered in fabric with a wide grin on his face. I've toiled many days and nights, and my work is finally done. He whips the covering off, and my eyes grow wide as I see what's hidden beneath. The coffret is of excellent craftsmanship. Oh, a coffret of excellent craftsmanship. It is made of lavishly worked brass. The body of the box and the lid have been painted with rose flowers, perfect to keep deeds, memorabilia, and ceremonial items safe. Wow, good piety, good court grandeur bonus. Okay, cool. Very cool. This is lovely indeed. Can I equip it, or is this not an equipable item? It's not an equipable item, so it has to be a display item. God damn it. Um, alright, well. I guess we'll have to put it on display somewhere. We currently have, um... Score artifacts, yeah. So we currently have the goblet here. Can I actually... No, these are just for books, right? Furniture? That's, that's all. There's something back there. No, is there? Or is that just... No, it's furniture. And we have a throne, which I also don't have yet. Okay, so... I might, in that case, this is all stacking dread related stuff, which is pretty good. This is a pedestal item. That's the worst one here. This one's okay. The prestige is nice. This one basically does the same thing, but it's a bit less good, but it does provide natural dread plus three. Same with this. Like, this one's otherwise worse. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to get rid of the hammer. And we'll put the ornamental coffret here instead. Nice. Looks cool. Looks cool. Um, we have no inspired projects at the moment. Um, we're going to drop below court grandeur level 6, so I actually want to increase our fashion. Which will put us to above 6. Because I don't want to drop below 6, because that will then cancel this event. Or this uh, thing that I'm attempting here with the... Uh... Ah, it looks like my Chancellor died. Delightful. Um, Nimira Kahina? Yeah, you seem fit for the job. You can be my Chancellor. And uh, she is still attempting to integrate titles. It's going to take 24 years, but it's alright. I eventually want to integrate all of the titles. Now, there are a couple of matters to take care of. Um... I could just invade you, actually. Like, 
She's got no allies. She's got barely any men. <laughs> Screw it. Why the hell not? I'm just gonna take her territory. We don't need to worry about... Like, it's much easier. I'm lazy, after all. Let's play the part. <laughs> we'll take the quick approach. The quick and violent approach. You know, some of my men may die, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. Alright. Yeah, they don't have very many men. So, this should be a quick fight. Let's quickly seize the, uh, the capital here. Now, the problem is, is... Uh, this will probably decrease control in this area with the invasion, whereas I'm not sure how the uh, uh, council event would work with that. I had a scheme at court. My spy master comes to me with the discovery that my courtier Foth is scheming against my courtier Eleonorca. Oh my god. So, Foth. Wait, this isn't the same Foth that was my knight that was being schemed against, was he? I could throw him in jail. Yeah, it's a murder scheme. Can't have that going on in my court. All right, Foth. He's, uh... Oh, it's his wife. He's scheming against his own wife. He wants to murder his own wife. That's, uh... You could banish him. Yeah, we'll do that. Get out of here. Does he take her with him? Ultimately, not the biggest loss. She is my Seneschal, but... I don't think she's a very good Seneschal. So, we can find a new one. Bye! And we get money out of it. <laughs> Which is what's really important here. All right, I'm gonna drop a siege force here and move my main army to uh, beat these guys before they seize any of my territory, because that will decrease control, and I don't want that. Demand artifact, huh? Fuck yourself. You want the Diani banner? You aren't even Diani. You formed a cadet branch, mate. You have no claim. All right. Um, scholarly circles, or no? We want pedagogy. That's that's the one we wanted. Okay. And speaking of which, um, I want to educate my child myself. Well, I'll, I'll wait and see. Actually, um, I think it probably is best. No, it's probably not best if I educate her myself because I have bad traits. And I would rather not have those passed down. So. I seized Amir Alumaro's tapestry after the Siege of Tarudant. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's look at that. So we can hang that up. We have a tapestry right here, the Diani wall banners. We can put more wall banners. All right, no artifact available. There are only three tapestry slots. Hmm, okay. Ooh. That's pretty good. This gives prestige per night and court grandeur. That one's quite good. It just gives a lot of stuff. It gives renown. This one also gives renown. Okay. So this is the Diani Dynaster ba uh, Dynasty banner. Um, can I see where this one is? Diani Dynasty banner. Large wall ornament. This is the Tinhinan's tapestry. Yeah, alright. Hold on. This one is... Yeah, okay. So, our choice is we display this one or this one. I think we display this one. All right. We didn't change much. Um, we need wall ornaments. Where do we get those? All right. Let's hurry up and win this. Uh, we've captured some enemy combatants, uh, including the uh, the leader. No, it's not the leader. It's just, uh, it's just a guy. But we won this war already. Okay. Cool. I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. Um, so I probably have a, uh, an unhappy vassal here. Now, Prince Tanan, he is, he's fine with me. That's good. Um, Seuss here, oh yeah. She, I don't think, likes me a whole lot. Who are you? You can go. Uh, you can renounce your claims. And, um, you can go. After you convert. Alright, problem solved. Um, this vassal here, um, the Emira of Seuss. 
what else can I take? Um, so we could convince... Yeah, we could do all kinds of stuff, actually. Interesting. So you can even convince enemy territories to join you. So let's work on Marrakesh here. So let's actually try and uh, seize Timilal this way. Because Timilal was lost by the former ruler of Maz, who we've now reunified. You don't like me. You don't like me at all. Um, because you tried to seize my artifact. Um, okay, hold on. We have another uh, sponsorship event. A metalsmith inspiration. She wants to forge me a goblet. Again, goblets are pedestal items, and we don't need more pedestal items, so... I'm gonna have to turn that down. But, we can hold court, so let's do that. Under prestige. Let's see what happens. First in line, a frightful peasant strolls all too close before a guard steps between us. Ooh. He backs off with a wink, laughing through his scant teeth. Your ladiness! I come here from Massa with a matter of great import. His eyebrows undulate. You see, Amira Alumara, the blacksmith's wife's sister, swore she can make a better violet sharper than the bowyer's wife. And oh, of course, they were just a tie. But the husbands got involved. Uh, you don't say so. Please go on. No, I would gain a million stress, which we don't want. Uh, Stuart took five. Let's go fix this. Uh, no. I could make him my fool. He would be a court jester. These all suck. But I'll have him sort it. Fortunately, I have to. Before me stands my vassal Emir Zafir, or Emir Zafir, his head hung low. My lady, Taudeni has been hit hard by recent enemy occupation. The people are starving, our fields are not recovering, and our livestock is not enough. Okay, we've seen this event before too. So I can pay the money. Thus, so we could grant him a tax relief, but that's. I don't think I want that. I could send Eleonorka. Go fix this. Yeah, I'm gonna send her to go fix this. Okay. They're hanging us, hounding us. We we could keep order, my lady. Please, we can organize ourselves without all the death. A peasant woman from Wilaya of Constantine, an area plagued by unrest, held by my Chancellor, Emira Kahina, assures me that control can be restored without undue bloodshed. Alright, this would make Emira Kahina like me less. We could gain increased presence. Which would increase control growth. Um, reduce popular opinion, but I would lose stress because I'm a sadist. We can give them money to increase the control level. It's not very much money. Um, Alright. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll allow Emira Kahina to uh, enact brutal rule. To reestablish order. Uh, yeah, okay. Business here is done. What's going on here now? Furniture. Wait, we have furniture? Oh, is this what we just stole? Okay. Alright, alright. So we can put a, uh, a table here. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. We've got ourselves a table. Delightful. Ah, we have been raided. Oh, we've been raided by our, uh, our former friends, huh? Alright, dickhead. Who are you allied with? Anaba? Anaba is a territory under my rule. Yeah? Is that so? It's time Africa rejoins the fold. Okay. We're going to, uh, this is how we're doing it. I'm very quickly just... Reconsolidating the powers lost by succession. My mother may have tried to diplomatically um, reclaim it, but that didn't work out too well for her. Now did it. So we're going to have to take the approach of swiftness, expediency, brutality, you might say. So war it is. This was a bit dangerous to levy this army right here. Um, but I think it should be fine now. We have the numbers. Uh, let's make sure we have commanders in both armies. You are not the best commander. Looks around. I think I would rather your Reaver. Uh, I mean, Reaver's good, but not good for this type of stuff. Um, so we'll leave that. What's my knight situation? I have 11 knights. They're okay. All right. Okay. Good, good. We will, uh... 
prosecute this war quickly and brutally, and we will reclaim Africa. Let's quickly look. Um, so we've got some factions against us, of course. Um, this guy wants to install himself on the Imazagan or Imazaran throne. Um, send him a poem. Interesting. Wow. Um, this sucks. Let's not send him a poem. <laughs> Stone of Glass. Um, does Die to gain a weak hook on me? That's fine. She's very old. I will, and I will gain 300 learning lifestyle experience, which is actually surprisingly not enough to give me a new perk. Alright, we could designate a guardian for one of my bastards. Um, he's got the traits, actually, so you know what? Screw it. I'll raise him myself. Uh, what's his... He's pensive? So, yeah, going into... Learning, I guess? Is good for pensive, maybe? No idea. So I can call house members? Let's do it. No, you don't want to do it? Okay. Why does it show up here as an option if you can't do it? Okay, that's... Yeah, alright. Thank you, Crusader Kings, for your useful tooltips. Delightful. Alright, um, I got two armies here. I want to crush these raiders, just on principle. Um, they raided my territory. I'm not a fan of that. We must stop the villain behind this. Eh. Alright, nice. And then we will continue sieging here. We will smite this army. It has been smote. And now I will move here and take uh, Majerda. War declared, of course. The Emirate of Algar. Alright. Just, just you? It's a holy war. Alright. Tell you what, I'm gonna send uh, I'm gonna send this army around this way, actually, and we're going to quickly seize Algeria. Or Algar. Um so if I take that um, and end the war before more uh, enemies join, which a lot of enemies have just joined, there's a few there, but not enough to concern me just yet. Okay, that's enough to concern me just yet, so let's go to port. I'm gonna withdraw my army. God fucking damn it. Okay, this is how it's gonna be, huh? Alright. Move up. Uh, we don't want to move up into the mountains, actually, because I have cavalry. That would forfeit my cavalry advantage, but uh, let's move this army in and we will attack them down here. I can wait on this war. We have a pretty advantageous war score right now because we just beat their army, so it'll take them quite a bit of time to recover. And we also basically destroyed their reserves um, because we defeated their raiding army. So I'm fine letting that war sit for a few minutes while we deal with this force ourselves. So I'm going to combine both of my armies. Um, reasonable point to die. Yes. I lost the trait. Cynical. Awesome. Okay, that's actually really good. I did not know you could lose traits like that. I, d I have been taking, like, repeated... Um, oh, existence of a murder me scheme, huh? Okay. That's a problem. That's a very big problem. I want to crush this army, uh, the main one, and you know, then then I'll just take uh, the capital here, of Urania. Or you guys are fleeing that way. I'd rather beat their army. We get a learning lifestyle perk, so let's get uh, let's get open-minded. It's going to help with uh, some other culture opinion because we do have uh, Buter culture is still quite large within my uh, nation. Ah, my spy master comes to me with a discovery. My vassal. Um, Naib. Yeah, we'll throw him in jail. We will indeed throw him in jail. He doesn't like us anyways. Um, so. I could banish him from the realm. Why is this an act of tyranny? Whereas the last person that I could banish from the realm was not an act of tyranny. Um, I could revoke his title. 
evoking Berenice does not incur tyranny. I'll do that. Okay. And, um... You know what? I'm a sadist. I'll torture him. I don't like him. I'm no longer overwhelmed by stress. That's pretty good. What the hell happened to our money? Okay. No, seriously, what happened to our money? When did that go? Because we, we had we had a bit of a surplus. Did it really just drop down that quickly? Okay, I'll uh, borrow gold from the uh, Holy Orders again. Come on, can we catch them, please? Thank you. Ah, great. She's asking questions. Uh, sh okay. She is curious, that's good. Um, so from there, curious... Is, I guess, more suited for diplomacy than learning? Because I tried curious with learning and it didn't result in too much. So I'll make her study diplomacy then. Well, apparently I can't make her do that, so... That's that. Ah, uh, my injured brother. My brother Murad has been wounded and his injury runs deep. I fear his body is not strong enough to fight this on its own. I feel death lingering beside his bedside. Oh, great. That is, that is very unfortunate. Oh, damn, he's been disfigured and, uh, brutally mauled in battle. It's not good. I've arrived in Tardodon to pay homage. Good, good. Thank you, Emir Azar. Homage objectified. Um... No, I'm not gonna, uh... So he and, uh, Princess Tria are, uh, having a little bit of a thing, is what this means? That's fine. I, I don't really care. We are Court Grandeur level 7. Alright. And we have defeated this army, so we've scattered them to the four winds. So let's quickly seize... This isn't the capital that I'm looking for. This is the one. This is the one that attacked me. I would like to win this quickly. Okay. Emir Alumara Affair is attempting to kill me. My husband is attempting to kill me. Why? He has 100 opinion of me. Why, Crusader Kings? Okay. Um, we are going to... I can imprison him, right? No, I can't. Why can I not imprison him? I can imprison other... I am confused. I'm going to call my allies into this war. My dynasty members into this war. Uh, oh, this costs Renown to do. Okay, let's not actually do that. Um, whereas I can do this. This won't cost anything, so let's do it this way. Alright. Ransom you for 30 gold. You are one of the people that attacked me. Eh, for 30 gold, alright. No, you have no prowess. That's fine. You should grant Masa to someone. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a city holding. Alright. Uh, I will. I will grant it to somebody of decent capabilities. Do you have any titles? You have some claims. I'll grant it to him. Okay, there you go. Soon. Come on! Jesus Christ. I'm trying to click on it, and it's just not doing it. So then I click the... the portrait, and it cuts out of that. Okay, Princess Tria is now no longer my antiquarian. Uh, Alright, well, uh, let's get ourselves a new antiquarian. Although, I shouldn't do that right now, actually. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, because that will cost me more money. Good. They're joining me in war. My brother Murad has died, indeed, as expected. That is a shame. We hurry up and win this siege. Okay, we got ourselves another army coming in. I'm gonna cut them off here, actually. And I don't want them to, uh... run about my lands willy-nilly, so... see if I can catch some of them anyways. A shady discussion. Voices of Mazgaba. This is the guy that commissioned my thing. And Tizemt, or he commissioned the box. Tizemt are whispering about Princess Tyree. 
Uh, I'm not going to warn Tyree. So I'm sure it's probably nothing important. <laughs> we don't like Tyree very much. She doesn't like us either, so... Alright, we have taken their leader hostage. Great. So, that will win us the war. Wonderful. That should teach them to... Attempt such wars against us. What prisoners? Do we still have him prisoner? I don't think so. We probably let him go. Um, we've taken this guy prisoner. Um, we've already tortured him. So I'm going to execute him now. Because uh, we're also a sadist. It's going to reduce my stress. So that's always good. Um, you were part of the people that attacked us. You're not really worthy of anything. I'm going to execute you because that's going to reduce my stress as well. And then there's this Ezra guy here. And uh, we're going to give him the same treatment. We're going to execute them all. They attacked us. They're not worth anything. So, uh, I need to reduce my stress. That is an excellent way to reduce stress, is to, uh, execute people. Uh, I'm providing advice for when you're playing a sadist in Crusader Kings, not real life, okay? Just, just want to make that clear. Before anybody gets any ideas. Ah, oh, god, we're being raided too. Marrakesh. Fucking Marrakesh, man. They have been a thorn in my side. What do we got here? There is something going on. There's an event here. A little language. Greetings, my serene Amira Alumara, Tazdaj says, nodding, acknowledging. She is my court shaman, yes. Uh, I'm very interested in the upbringing of your daughter, Dahia. You see, I speak Berber, a language that I believe would be the most useful for her to learn, she explains with a genuine tone. I just need coin for quills, ink, parchment, and some personal compensation, of course. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, that's 150 gold, though. So we're going to have to do it like this. And she learned the language anyways. Excellent. Right? So she speaks Berber. And Arabic. Or I guess she will also speak Arabic. She learned it instantaneously, too. That's, uh... She's a smart kid. Very smart kid. Learned Berber in less than a day. All right, let's destroy this little army. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to arrive in time to prevent... Oh, no, they're fleeing. Good. Good, good. Then I will take some of their castles, and we can win this war as well. We're back down to Court Grandeur level 6, but that's okay. Um, we are still doing this in Team Milal, so that's good. Um, locked in his room. Azraig came to me complaining about Amira bullying him. He's been staying in bed for days to avoid facing the other child. Um... Right, so he can be lazy, arbitrary, or craven. I'll let him keep lazy. He's a bastard. Anyways, he's not going to inherit anything. Um, I don't care too much about him. It's a cruel fact of life. Ziz has been spared. Despite, successful or despite successfully sieging the settlement of Ziz, a fortification protecting swaths of greater Ziz, um, Sheikh Awais has restrained his troops. The resulting looting has been isolated and sporadic. Though your vassal has been spared, the Marrakesh eye your lands hungrily. All right, Sheik Uwais of Marrakesh. Uh, I mean, that's something. I'll tell you what, if it comes to war I'll, and I have you prisoner, I'll spare you. It's only fair. Ah, pregnant again. Delightful. More children. Alright, let's take this. Um, yeah, fort level is too high, huh? What is the... Oh, yeah, fort level 7. That's, that is pretty high. For this time period. Alright. So, we should take this, and then I want to take uh, Rakata here, and then I can leapfrog over and take the capital. Though... Uh, Alright, we're gonna do this. Bleeding out? Okay, so it's the event where we are... Um... Is there still a plot against me? No. It's my husband was trying to murder me. I just need to make sure that... Um... Can I see my... opinion of him? I don't know.
He's quite good at what he does. Maybe I'll romance him, then he'll stop trying to murder me. Hand me the tourniquet! Alright. Um, you've gained a loyalty hook on Massenson. Ragnarwid? Uh, again, this GH now seems like an R, so I, don't, I would not even know how to pronounce that in the slightest. I will declare, uh, no, I will, what will I do? I'll write him a love poem. All right, we managed to save the person that was bleeding out. Wonderful. And I'm now friends with my husband. Okay. White peace. Absolutely not. You raided me. Or some of your vassals raided me. And this territory technically belonged to my grandmother, so it's going to belong to me now. My charms will improve any conversation. The siege has been won. Good. Let's uh, take their cap. No, we've got to take this first. Okay, and then I will split off the siege force and go deal with that little army. How they worship. All right, differences in faith. Um... It is easier to, confate, to convert faith in the Wilaya of Azuki for 30 years. Good. Let's do that. Speaking of, where is Azuki? It's Tlemken. This is Zamur. This is Azuki. Well, we'll do that there then. That'll decrease the time required to gain control of that. So, let's split off the siege force and send my main force up to go and crush these jerks down here. Alright, we have a sun. Not gonna call him a, a fair. Call him something else instead. What's his uh, traits? His traits are also pretty good. He's robust, he's intelligent, and he's handsome. Just like, uh... No, she's beautiful. Intelligent and robust. So this one's actually better. Um, my daughter. What will we call him? Or maybe after an ancestor? Azar. Sure, why not? What's she going into? Yeah, so I think I want to send her down to diplomacy. And I will educate her. I guess I will educate her myself. Or do I send her to somebody that is good at diplomacy? I mean, I'm good at diplomacy. I also have good learning. Then again... She does, too. She could be generous, forgiving, and diligent. You know what? I'm going to give her to the High Shaman. The problem is the High Shaman's probably going to die. So, maybe I won't do that. Hmm. I don't want to, though. No, I'll, I'll keep her myself. Unfortunately, my High Shaman, I don't think she's going to live very long. She's already 80 years old. Oh, well, where are you running? This is a fair fight. Come on. Alright, they're dead. Um, Lord Affair, let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. After he ponders for uh, the request for a while, his face lights up. You should be able to sustain yourself on nothing but your love for me for many days. Uh, God. Why you do this to me? Alright. My devotion will carry me through. Paying homage. My vassal, Emira Kahina, has arrived outside my castle. Excellent. Um, no, no, no. Emira Kahina, she likes me a bit. Yeah, good. Uh, please enter deposit the gold on your left. Nice. She comes bearing gifts of gold. Good on you. I need the gold, so I'm not going to tell her to keep it. If I didn't need the gold, I would tell her to keep it, but alas. <laughs> oh, okay. Crafty bastards. They're coming to take out my little uh, siege force here. That is very annoying. Alright, well. Um, greetings, my impressive liege. Please, accept this humble gift. It was a possession, it was a treasured possession of mine that I hope it honors and serves you well. The Soninke scale armor. You mean the one that I gifted to you, like, or I gifted to, I think, your, your father a long time ago? I mean, alright, I'll take it back. Fine. Alright, that's unfortunate that we lost that battle. 
Romance, a lord's honor. Fayamon, Amir uh, Alumara. Or Amir Alumara affair is an insufferable churl. Have you seen how he crosses his arms? Ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Arm crossing. So ridiculous. Right? My vassal, Amir Azreg, throws his head back with a wicked laugh. Affair is still conversing with his friends, but I can tell he hurt him. I hate to see him hurt. Violized. I will draw my sword. Uh, Azreg here, I don't want to kill him. Could make him apologize. Either, either way, I'm going to gain... Well, no, this will not make me gain stress. If I could force him to apologize. We'll do that. Nope, he lost opinion of me. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Alright, you come back here. Uh, we got ourselves another learning perk. Let's get... Um, scholarly circles. Not that that's going to be terribly useful. My niece Adela has given birth to a daughter, which she wants to name Adela. All right. Okay. So let's take this territory. God damn it, besieging me again. They have so many tiny little armies. Go ahead with my attempt to romance him. All right. Uh, yeah, the wild hunt. I feel like this event chain should have some more variation, because this is literally the same events every single time we do this. So, which is why I'm not reading it. <laughs> I'm not reading too much of it, anyways. I, I read a little bit of it, but... I realize why. <laughs> okay. So, I have taken this, um, I will now split my army in half instead of sending part of it down there, so I'm going to actually, no, I'm going to send the siege weapon crew up here, and then I'm going to send this army, which has the cavalry, down to deal with this little force that's currently attacking me, before they can, uh, finish off a siege here. So I would like to seize their capital, I think that would result in a victory. We have a dangerous faction here that wants to lower crown authority. Um, this is a bit of a problem. I'll try and sway him. I don't think it's gonna happen in time. You gift him an artifact. So, yeah, okay, I get it. I get it now. I see this. Alright, my brain, uh, so, some of you have been, you know, pointing out that I'm misreading things a lot, and I'll just... Be flat. My brain kind of... If it sees something obvious, it makes some assumptions. Um, and I have to be, like, very vigilant to make sure that it doesn't do that, which is why when I'm skimming stuff, I often misread things. Uh, so I do apologize about that. Uh, however, there's not a whole lot that I can do about it. I think it's it's possibly, like, a, a minor form of dyslexia or something. I don't know. Um... <laughs> But yeah, okay, I see. We'll accept here, this is where it says opinion. But yeah, this is... My other point here, uh, in the comment that I had, um... Stands that gifting artifacts is terrible. <laughs> like, it, it really does not grant much. For how much artifacts can cost, it's... yeah. Alright, so they ran away, that's good. We're gonna go up this way. Um... Are they gonna try and re-siege their place? Let's... Head them off there, then. That's fine. Alright, another child. Wonderful. It's, uh... Precisely what I need. I'll break off a siege force and all of both of my armies converge there. And we should be able to kill them. Yeah, see, look at that. My, uh, High Shaman already died. Just died. Rest in peace. You're actually quite good. Uh, what is my current High Shaman? She has eight. I'm firing this one. She's not suited for the job. Oh, I can actually appoint a different one. Holy shit. Alright. Um... Okay. This makes things interesting. I'm going to assign him as my High Shaman. Congratulations. Alright. Right. Closer to victory. Let's move our armies there. Uh, actually, let's move our armies there. I think when we take the capital, it sh we should win. But, uh, yeah, all right. Uh, liar's pay. I was shocked when I caught Azreg trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting Emir Azar. No, don't steal from Emir Azar. Um, 
So you have to learn to get away with your lies. Be honest. Uh, I can have him be honest. He's going to be a bastard, so... Or I could have him be humble. Ooh, both of these would be good for somebody that's not an inheritor. Um, I think I'll have him be honest. I'll gain a bit of stress, but again, it's easy to uh, lose stress when I can just execute people. Though, these are all fellow Amazig, so or Amazir, so I will not be executing them. We'll ransom all of them. And we win the war. Uh, however, I can ransom him too for a lot of money. Holy crap. What if we do this? We will probably lose some of the war score, but I think we can still win it afterwards, right? Yeah, like, we, we lost a tiny bit of war score. That's fine. Um, I think we'll be able to seize one more fort. And we've discovered Armillary Sphere. All right, what does that do again? And I don't play this game quite enough. Like, I really only play the playthroughs that I'm doing on the channel at this point. I played it before I started doing it on the channel a fair bit, but... I don't have all this stuff memorized. Okay, increases our naval speed. Well, great. That's, uh... Actually, that is kind of helpful. We, we do end up using uh, naval transit quite a bit. What do we got here? What, what's going on? Why do we have an artifact slot open? I guess it's because of the armor slot that we have. It's, yeah, but it's not... This isn't any better than this one. No. Okay, it's just it was just to... Uh, the notification was just there to remind us that we got a new artifact that we can slot in somewhere else. Um, but it's not terribly useful, so let's finish this siege. We'll take Kairuan, and that will win us the war. Let's also try and ransom as many of these prisoners as possible. Ten gold, I'll take it. And you guys, are you guys any good? Not really. Um, and I just release them. They're going to be part of my kingdom anyway, so... Mental break. Dark thoughts. Uh, yeah, we'll smoke some hashish. That uh, coincides with lazy quite well. <laughs> Not to say that everybody that smokes hashish is lazy, but it certainly promotes laziness. <laughs> so that'll be our stress reduction. I'm fine with that. Alright, look at that. We have reunified the Diani Grand Emirate. Along with some extras. And that... is where I'm going to end today's episode. All right, we've got some, uh, so next episode we're going to have to deal with some, uh, factions here. Uh, the lower in Crown Authority, I may just allow them to take it for now. So at this point, let's send him a gift, see if we can drop him off of there. Oh, another one immediately joined, damn it. All right, well, um... All right, fine. We're at Crown Authority 1. We'll bring it back up later. It's okay. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, leave it a like. Um, and thank you again for all of your comments. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.